already have a seat. I can't catch my breath. This is it. Okay, I'm here with Debbie Wingham. Debbie is, everybody just listen very closely. She's created the world's most, are you really that tall? I'm cheating a little bit. I've okay. got little heels on Okay. That. I'm six foot and then heels. And you're English. Yeah. First, I'm so flattered that you're here. I understand that you want to reveal this on our wacky show yes. first and only. Oh. Absolutely. She's our people. Debbie Wingham has created the world's most expensive shoes and cake. Here are the pictures. Let me ask you something. Do you eat that cake or do you put it in the freezer? You know what, honey? Diamonds and dentistry doesn't really work so well. They have to all be taken off first because the digestion issue. A would cake not be good. for $75 million? What? Was that a movie star who bought it? Or uh, it was an Arabian family. See? Was it for an occasion or just because it's Friday? No, it wasn't Friday. It was it was because actually their, their daughter was going to be getting married and it was a joint thing with their birthday as well. Okay. But, but that was actually my first ever professional cake. I never used to be a cake artist, so it's very random. We'll tell you another time. Are you myself. wealthy by, by uh, birth? No, no, I'm a, actually a council house kid. In, in uh, America, that would be called the projects. So, you oh. know, I did it. I... <laughs> okay, I would ask you about the shoes, but I gotta get to this bag. Sure. Everybody, this is, can I touch it? There you go. Hold it. It suits you. Oh. With all this bling, honey, you're bringing it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the world's most expensive handbag. So these are real diamonds. Wait, let me see 600 and... Thirty million thousand dollars worth of clasps. This Cotier um, clasps. No, the the earrings. The earrings actually are actually upcycled from the client, and these were these were thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Okay. This is the other ones. I'll 30, go into all the, the really special bags. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So this bag, firstly, it's twenty four karat gold, um, and it's drenched in diamonds. The most spectacular diamonds on there, although there's lots of beautiful ones, are the three pink diamonds, and they're worth one point five million. <coughs> a piece. Not cheap, baby. Not cheap. Um, and what makes this bag really spectacular for me is actually the gold process. It's actually poured over 800-year-old aged wood to give it this unsymmetrical, very natural kind of look. And it's a friend of mine, an amazing Italian um, jeweler. And um, How do you know these people to let you um, do this? Because I'm a bit bonkers, and I know bonkers people. Can I just look at <laughs> oh, you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you now, no. I would like to look at the bottom of it. Yeah, so at the bottom you can see that that just shows that it's a real egg because you, this underneath here is actually a real emu egg and it's basically coated in uh, diamond dust. So it's got blue diamond dust to make it stronger. Then it's covered in gold. And then, and what I really you love about- You can't put anything in it. Yeah, not much. Can it's I see the inside? Yeah, so when we open it here, it's actually made again with the rematch. Hermes? Yeah, so the client doesn't like last season stuff. So that's why we have Cartier earrings as the openers. And we also have um, we have a Hermes scarf inside lining it. So this is from seasons ago because yes. she wants the newest for around her neck. Absolutely. But instead of throwing them away or giving to her yeah. sister, yeah. she does this. Exactly. Now, can I just ask Let me you? Show again, just the inside, because I just want Who is the broad who's buying oh. this? Oh. Six thousand ah. dollars. Well, that's a very good question. I work with a lot of really high caliber clients and celebs and things. Clearly. This one I can't tell you about, unfortunately, but I can tell you some clues. Okay. She's early forties. She's from New York. She's a real estate mogul. And she's fabulous. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, look, I gotta talk to you behind, <coughs> behind the scenes. Thank you, Debbie. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>